Listen. There are three keys I want to hand to you now. I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye. Number one, praying in the spirit. Write it down. There is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not is another thing. But as far as seeing is concerned, it is a grace that goes with praying. Show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer. I show you a seer indeed. Praying in the spirit. And when you begin to pray, the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen. The things that ears have not heard. The things that have not come into the heart of any man. Invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions. Invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination. Invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the world. Invest time praying and you will show me, I will show you the prophetic activations that happen in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? A worship minister who only sings and does not pray, when they sing, you will know the difference. You will know that this person is just singing. I don't care how nice the voice is. You will know this person is just ad leaping and just singing. There is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do. A businessman who prays, the difference will be clear. A career person who prays, the difference will be clear. A man of God who studies scripture and prays, the difference will be clear. A worshiper who prays, when he sings, the difference will be clear. There are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated. You're like, please just finish and go. Because there is no presence. There is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do. You cannot fake a genuine prayer life. It's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence. There is a stamina. There is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. Ah, you need it. You need it. You need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. You want to do end time ministry? Five minutes prayer? Ten minutes prayer? Save Johnny. You will reverse by yourself in shame. You want to see, you must learn to pray. Generate energy as you pray in the spirit. Yes, sir. Male and female, educated or otherwise, when it has to do with the gift of sight, ladies and gentlemen, it is connected to a rich, consistent discipline of the prayer ministry. There are many people it's in the place of prayer that certain melodies will come in the spirit you will start hearing sounds you will write them it's in the place of prayer that certain sermons that were not even rehearsed scriptures will come to you it is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep that sleep was not slumber it was Adam's kind of sleep because something needs to come out of you. Ladies and gentlemen, laziness in the area of prayer is a cancer that would destroy many Christians. You must obtain grace by the Spirit to be a man and a woman of consistent prayer. I'm talking of moments where you invest quality time. You are not asking, not tea, not bread. You are just traveling. It's a cruise in the spirit. 
and the flesh may be weak but you are still gaining ascendance you will hit an escape velocity in the spirit and the heavens are open and you will start receiving things something happens to your mind something happens to your understanding of scripture do you believe what I'm sharing with you listen if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues well I'm praying you receive that impartation but you see one of the reasons why we designed our prayer department is an opportunity there are people who have been trained mighty anointed men and women who will administer the baptism the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not for Pentecostals it is not for charismatics it is one of the manifestations of the hidden wisdom of God he said but we speak this wisdom among them that are mature not the wisdom of this world that comes to naught nor of the princes of this world he calls it the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for our glory he said you shall receive power Acts 1 8 in Acts chapter 2 they receive tongues there is a relationship between that which you utter in the spirit and the opening of your eyes and the gift of sight is someone learning the generation that knows how to pray with understanding will be a seen generation indeed tremendous insight in ministry tremendous creativity by the spirit number two very quickly activating the gift of sight what is the second key meditation meditation rich moments where you meditate upon the word of god and then meditate upon scripture based resources you can meditate upon the word of god but you can meditate upon scripture based resources like sermons like materials that are word compliant it will prime your creativity you can be reading a leadership book and see one line leadership is about transforming followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change you will stop there the psalmist will often say sila pause and think about it most people do not understand meditation meditation is not witchcraft i'm not talking about this devilish thing that people do to meditate means to think and to ponder using the power of imagination what is god saying there are times that i sit quietly with worship playing and i'm saying holy spirit breathe upon my mind what are you saying now and sometimes it will take a while before his voice comes in that silence here it comes this is what koinonia must do for the next season this is the series i want you to step into these are the anointings i'm releasing in this season when we look like we are mighty it is simply because of the advantage of the power of sight the grace to see ahead of time yeah. hey, hey. Hey, 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 Meditation. You open your scripture, you read, and you begin to meditate. Let worship play. Lord, what is the next thing about my life? And sometimes you need to be still, then you will know that He is God. There is a kind of knowledge that follows stillness. Be still, and then you will know. Miracle service is next week, Sunday. Part of the ways that I prepare for the miracle service is not just to pray. Sometimes I'm lying down and a dense atmosphere of worship and I'm quiet. Your majesty, speak. What do you want to do in the lives of your people? What is your emphasis for the people? Don't ever assume with God it will cost you. Always stay and say, Lord, what are you saying? Speak for your servant heareth. 
and sometimes he will open your eyes and give you insight into what he's doing that there will be people who will come for that miracle service who have been tied down by spirits and you will see it and you will say when you get there don't just do what you want to do become a voice of deliverance hallelujah you believe in this sometimes it's in the place of meditation i told you that's how the song breathe came that's how this song in fact this song i think i hope i'm right on that i think it came in the place of worship just worshiping and then this chance come in the spirit by the spirit of the living god and your life becomes a sign and a wonder first to you and then everyone around you ladies and gentlemen practice meditation sometimes as a businessman shut everything around you and sit down there has to be a way out spirit of the living god what is the next five years going to look like what is the next 10 years in this industry going to look like ah then the one who gives you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places he comes to you in that stillness he breathes upon you and reveals to you the next 10 years reveals to you the next 20 years there were many things that we had the opportunity to do as a ministry but every time i went to the lord he would just be silent over it or he will say it's not yet time and i said that's it this is your ministry this is your vision no matter how uncommon and unusual it is if you say it is not time it is not time someone called me one time and said apostle do you have an idea of people who have been writing books in your names books that have almost sold five star ratings across several platforms i said that is wrong so why don't you just quickly write and i go to him your majesty no it is not your time the foolishness of seeing will make you a champion mysteriously so you will do things that are unusual but with them will come power and transgenerational impact hallelujah praise the name of the lord this is how god has helped us as a ministry this is how god has helped many who have learned sensitivity please write it meditation meditation you can get sometimes word-based confessions sometimes you can get scriptures on tape designated scriptures are, are along certain areas and just allow them play sometimes it's worship like the strings playing like this and you're just soaking in that glory when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. sing it one time when the glory comes there'll be no words to say when the glory comes there'll be no words to say listen my dear people let me teach you a secret every time you are granted the opportunity to go and minister don't just stand up and write songs blindly and go and stand and start singing it's in that secret place the spirit of god can arrange songs songs that you have forgotten this song connects to this this one connects to this when you now have the opportunity to minister you will come up with a an arrangement that will so impact the spirit of the listeners how did you join this song with this one it came in the place of meditation in the stillness when you stay with the spirit destinies are altered you will hear sounds in the spirit god will tell you this plus this is what equals this as a businessman once you stay meditating here he comes this is the next phase of what the world is doing go ahead of them 
by doing this one and doing that one. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. The third and final way you activate the gift of sight is through impartation. And that's what you're about to receive. Yes, sir. It is a grace that can be imparted. Ephesians 3, 9. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. I want you to please read aloud the first six words that you see. Count them in your mind before you read. The first six words. Are you ready? One to read, please. And to make all men see. One more time. One more time. There is a grace that can make not some men, all men see. All men can see depending on the grace that rests on them. All men may not see visions, but all men can have dreams. Many can have visions. All men can have access to supernatural insight of scripture. All men can have insight to creativity and intelligence at an extraordinary scale. And all men can have access to prophetic activations. The word of knowledge seen in the spirit. Extraordinary supernatural experiences. This is the heritage of the saints. And within the next two to five minutes, as instructed by the Spirit of God, I want to impart this grace. I told you there is a gift that God wants to give someone. To make all men see. To make all men see their future. To make all men see what God is saying. To make all men see his program. To make all men see where their wealth is. Just because everybody is running there. You may run there and your wealth is not there. To make all men see what business to do. To make all men see what dimension of ministry you have been called into to make all men see where your helpers are Esther to make all men see where Ahasuerus is Naomi to make all men see where Boaz is to see where your victory is I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. I'm not wasting your time. Your life will change remarkably. Believe me. Remarkably. Can I tell you? The gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is. It can show you where the problem is. This backwardness in this family, where is it? What is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men, tied down women, tied down great people? It is not only to see the future. You can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them. Who seen that this man was born blind? Himself or his father? And Jesus said neither.
Parando salika rikusia faratusia. To samalanda farekuska debrash. And those who are following online, you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous. Miraculous and marvelous. The gift of sight. The seeing eyes. He said, Blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. In the name of Jesus, Parakatos Kede Aparatos Yata, a heavy grace from heaven, let it rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, call to operate in the prophetic office. I activate that grace to see now. And declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your wealth, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shalega para da da da. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus.
Alabra de Gavereka Tosca Braga Baratusia Crate Begaretusiata in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the Spirit to be activated. The word of knowledge. The word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy, I decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you. I stretch my hands, receive a fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. Adonai. 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 trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness every mistake you have made some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight some of you may be in marital crisis right now some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now in the name of Jesus I invoke the mercy of God come out of that situation now Come out of that situation now. A miracle service is next week. But please allow me to speak over your finances. There is something your eyes need to see. I want to pray for you. Can I tell you this? Listen. Your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because he's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. The eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision, let it be imparted upon you. I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart. May nothing take you unawares again. I say it again. May nothing take you unawares. That before it happens, by the power of sight, may you see it. So that if you have to stop it, you stop it from happening. And if you have to allow it, then you allow it happen. Hear me? By the gift of sight, 
you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me give you a disclaimer many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions listen never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word i need to give you this disclaimer no matter how accurate what you have seen is when you get up do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible seek godly counsel i'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky because when your eyes are open you will see all kinds of things and satan can appear as an angel of light are we together yeah the devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see and you may see things or god can give you correct visions and here comes satan with wrong interpretations of it and you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision and it will end up misleading you and misleading others no matter what i see i have to confirm it with scripture and where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret i will consult with those who have gone ahead of me and open up my heart and say i've seen something like this sir what do you see what can you say about it and sometimes they will say don't worry give me a few days let me pray about it ah this is what you saw this is what you saw never be too big to be guided no matter how accurate you are we see in part i forgot to tell you that that even after you have received the grace to see you will see in part that means the word of god that is wholesome and complete and entire must vet your visions must vet your dreams must vet your creativity must vet your prophetic experiences that way go and listen to my message the value of encounters there is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error many people prayed their way to visions but because they did not honor scripture they started seeing things that misled them some of you have seen people like that they start acting as if they're having a mental condition it was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture they announce that you see them misbehaving they start talking to themselves they will not take their bath for days they will start looking as if they are mad people eventually they will get them on admission in the hospital i have to tell you as a responsible man of god that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit it is a very vast realm what gives you stability is your respect for scripture otherwise your eyes will see a lot of things the devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother lifting a knife and you will get up and say ah so my mother is the person behind this and satan has succeeded in cheating you he took advantage of the opening of your eyes as an, an an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you you will begin to hate her this is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry their inability to save their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture there are many people today who are called witches and wizards there are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said this one is this i believe that there is witchcraft but there are many people an innocent husband and a wife and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband i see that this guy wants to destroy you interpreting visions has a protocol there's no time for that now but you need to learn to see your visions there are many things you will see that are not necessary you dump them and focus on that which is consistent everything you see does not have to be interpreted when you are mining gold you will fetch sand 
a lot of other things will come push them away you are looking for gold hallelujah I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error and for someone who is watching I have to bring this balance as we wrap up everything you see no matter how sure you think you see or saw make sure that you open up in scripture and if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps seek godly counsel by the privilege of God's grace we are here to help don't stand up and suddenly say you know what I had a vision and in that vision the Lord said I should leave my job as a breadwinner of ten the one who takes care of ten people before you take that step seek godly counsel there are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes self. They can see and say, this is not what it means. Be careful. Do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents. I'm saying this as we close because there have been people, I can tell you through the years, I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life, meditation, word study, their eyes became open. Some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit, someone appeared. I know one gentleman, he's now late, long dead. The guy used to go through story. By 4, 8, 4 p.m., he would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium. He would sit down there because he said there was an angel, some feminine angel that used to come to him. That they will sing together she takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around nigeria this guy started isolating himself from people he started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition i mean what i'm saying he got into depression because it was like nobody else was his friend he claimed they used to sing together with that being i remember interviewing the guy and i said describe for me the being once he started doing that, I said, you are, you are meeting with a familiar spirit. Oh, but she tells me good things. Behave yourself, respect parents. I said, you don't know Satan. That gentleman today has passed on to glory. Years ago, it is true. So I'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim. What was written was written so that it will not be changed. Your visions can be altered. I taught you here that it is written is greater than I saw. It is written is greater than I heard. If you can respect the word of God, then your seeing becomes profitable. It is not everything I've seen that is from God. It is not everything I've seen as a man of God that is worth executing. When I pass them through the lens of God's word, I find some of them wanting and I just hang them there until i grow higher to vet them again or until i dump them because i do not believe in them you must have the maturity to respect the word of god and no matter how accurate your insights are let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling please rise up on your feet thank you jesus thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me make the altar call now. And then I speak over our lives finally. Let me also remind you that next week is our miracle service for the month of October. Please make sure you invite everyone to come and partake of this wave of revival that God is birthing from this place across the nations. You are in this place and on hearing me speak, the Holy Ghost began to speak to you that you need to make your ways right. There's no need cajoling you. I believe that by now you have, your eyes have been opened to see your state that you need Jesus. You need to rededicate your life to Jesus or you need to make a first time decision wherever you are. Let me give you two minutes of our time Please leave your seat honorably and come and stand right before me. God bless you. Koinonia, celebrate them. Somebody is having the boldness to come before Jesus. God has opened their eyes to see that they need Jesus. This is not all of them. Let's celebrate them as they come. 
Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Leave your seat and come. Come join them. Jesus is calling you to give you a new beginning, a new start, to help you, to lift you. When you come to Jesus, you have sinned correctly indeed because he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. The Bible says no man comes to the Father except through him. Those coming, please come quickly. All the overflows, make sure you move to your LED screens and those following from across the globe, here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for making this noble decision. You're joining them, join them quickly. I want to lead you to pray this prayer. Everyone who is in Christ must have prayed this prayer in some way. And it's an honor to lead you to make this prayer. It's the confession of your faith, your sin, and receiving the life of God. Please lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. Come. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive your life into my heart. I decree that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I'm a child of God. I just saw light coming on one of you. I just saw like power just come on you and to destroy every satanic thing. I will finish my prayer, but I rebuke that spirit now. Release them in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. Say after me, I'm a child of God. From today and forever, I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. In the name that is above all names, I thank you because according to their profession of faith, their sins are hereby forgiven. And in Jesus' name, we call them bona fide recipients of your life. The power to live a victorious Christian life, we release upon you. And we declare in the name of Jesus that you will serve the Lord all the days of your life. You will go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Please do well to follow our counselors there by my right, waving the placard. That will be your left. Please follow them and you have a word with them very quickly and then return to your seat. God bless you. Let's honor them as they go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, just a very important announcement. The protocol and logistics department, all our gentlemen that you see on suit here, the department is open for new members. For all of you who have been wanting to serve in the house of the Lord, especially in capacity uh, of the protocol and logistics, please you can go to the PR desk just after this auditorium. And for those outside, you may need to come in and there'll be a form for you to fill and then they'll guide you on what to do. So the doors are open. When it's closed, I'll announce it. But for now, the doors are open. Please do well. Take advantage of it. For some of you, you've been searching for a way to serve in the house of the Lord. Here is one department that is open for you. And make sure that you are part of them. For one last time, for all those who need to be registered for the program that will be coming in two or three weeks, number one, awaiting couple, those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Um, there is... A, a desk for you to register at the medical stand it's, it's 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 a strict it's a restricted program so that we allow these professionals who are coming to be able to speak to you and then all those who are medical practitioners and who want to be part of the training is free completely free you go and also register and then we have a quota that we do not want to exceed so that we don't stretch the facilitators who are coming so you have perhaps this week and next week as the final chance you can reach after the service just ask the medical people they'll give you um uh, you know they will tell you a way to be able to feel it and for those who are outside of abuja we're sorry we're not doing it online 
it's localized so it's going to be limited for those here and we're not airing it because it's a very private program um, and so we really apologize we'll only work with those who are on site and then once we exceed the quota that we've allowed we may not be able to do more than that so um, avail yourself while the opportunity is there and by God's grace the last and final announcement hopefully together with the bill would be up if necessary if it's not necessary to make a bill for it then we'll just let it be hallelujah have you been blessed tonight please take our time to listen to this message again after the service listen again in the course of the week you will hear something when you listen that you did not hear now I pray for you in Jesus name you will take advantage of this scene I and in Jesus name you will make progress in destiny you will make progress in life I prophesy upon you that this week beginning let it be a week of favor let it be a week of breakthrough let doors be opened return on Sunday with testimonies it will be clear from your life that God helps men it will be clear from your life that God lifts men it will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus the Lord bless you and honor you let's God bless you beloved Matthew chapter 11 verse 17 Jesus speaking and he said my house for all the nations shall be called the house of prayer reflector hub TV is a platform channeled to spur up your prayer life channel to get you revived again you've lost your spiritual fire you lost your spiritual passion for God your passion for prayer your passion for the things of the kingdom get set to be strengthened get set to be spurred up get set to be revived get set to encounter Jesus whose house is the house of prayer on this platform and by the help of God of God through his servant Apostle Joshua Selman it is time for your spiritual life to come back again it is time for your spiritual life to be revived it is time for your spiritual life to be set on fire again it is time for that gold altar to receive the fire of the Lord and don't forget that as your life is being revived get this message to others their life also must be revived God bless you we love you so much and if you are a new viewer hit the subscribe button click on the notification bell so as to stay in touch with all our daily books